Good evening everyone. In this video tonight, let's ask a question to our tarot cards. Are they aware about the pain they caused you? And how do they feel about that? So, our reading is about pain. So let's ask. If you'd like to participate in this reading, please think about a person or persons and choose a deck or decks and take your time, please. <clears throat> Have you chosen? So let's have a look, starting with our deck number one. Our deck number one is the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. Are they aware about the pain they caused you? Are they aware about the pain that caused you? The full page of coins and lovers. <clears throat> I don't think so. The cards are very good. I think they, they think very good about what happened. For me it seems that they are not aware because either they are naive or immature or simply stupid. We have the full card. The fool is not aware he's um <clears throat> sorry. He's very naive, I would say, very like taking things lightheartedly and not thinking deep. How do you say maybe shallow love was there, maybe one night stand was there, maybe even some sort of um an accident, you know, or something very unserious and fast, like a accidental relationship or unplanned relationship or unplanned sex or a planned pregnancy even. You know, they feel that they gave you something and this happens to a, a man and a woman. Let's say this happens in a love relationship. So I think they're not aware but maybe not because they're mean, because they are immature or naive or never thought about it or too young. Simply can be a very young person. Okay. <clears throat> now, how do they feel about what happened? How do they feel about what happened? Three of coins, the star, nine of coins. <clears throat> I'm not getting lots of uh, worry here. As you can see, we're not having bad cards. Um, if they were very guilty or felt very worried, we would have like seven, eight swords, knight of swords, you know, death, I don't know. Very bad cards. We would have this um, expressing their guilt. Here we have the star that kind of, it might talk that they thought that whatever they did was because they were dreaming about something and it came true eventually, you know and something like that. It can also be that they thought it was their job to do it. Uh, maybe it, it's something that happened on, on the Facebook. Maybe it's something that happened online where the, there's a group of people and it's kind of professional. It's something that should be done. But with that I'm feeling a little bit of a um, erot erotic pornographic some sort of feel here. Like, maybe they think at some point it was not appropriate. Something was not appropriate at one point. But I don't get lots of regret. They were more like surprised 
oh, maybe it's inappropriate, you know, for a bit. But I'm not getting very deep guilt here or or some sort of, you know, worry. Maybe they blame you that you showed up, you know, you were dressed like that, you know, you were too beautiful, you were too visible, and that's what happened. They couldn't help it. So, we have something like that here. Very, I think, very specific situation. And, uh, something to do about them feeling high, or something about hurting someone. They demonstrating their power against you because I'm feeling that's them on their horse and that's you as a small doggy who is afraid to fall down from the cliff and they're as if they're pushing. You know, so I'm getting that sort of thing. And I'm getting that they blame you because you look too visible, too beautiful. But I don't know what happened here. Something I think related might be with sex, with flirting with a couple relationship because of lover's card. Everybody's naked here. So it can be something very vulnerable and emotionally. Maybe a harassment, sexual harassment. Or one night stand or, you know, when one night stand happens and the guy leaves the girl forever, ghosts her. Something like that also, similar to that. Um, <clears throat> will they ever understand what they did? I'm just getting them absolutely not feeling any guilt. Absolutely not thinking about it and living a happy life. Okay, what karma will we get for this, what they did? Let's say, I believe we always get even the smallest karmas that we do. It comes back somehow. So even good things and bad things, both. <clears throat> even neutral things come back. So, how, will it come back to them? And how? I'm asking how because I'm sure it will. Well, I'm getting it might come back through money, through money. But I'm getting that they're going to get love, that I feel like they're going to get a good karma for this. Good karma, they're going to get opportunity, love, ideas, work. But maybe um, they're going to end up alone in the old age or something like that. Maybe they're going to experience that in the old age. Maybe it's going to uh, hit them as a contrast between having good all their life, love and money and happiness. And then suddenly they, you know, when they're old, they're extremely old and alone. What I want to say, alone. And... Then they have too much time to think about everything and too much time to remember and too much time to understand. So I think so I think that it might be then that the karma will suddenly hit them when their understanding will start working sort of. Something will happen, like a contrast. I don't know what, because I'm seeing their whole life as a very successful, happy experience. But something will happen that they will, even if they don't lose anything, something will happen from their inside 
that will make them think about things and maybe then they will understand so it will be in their brain and it will be from inside and it will be more stronger stronger than if the karma would hit them actually and in different way this more subtle way okay so let's move on to our pack number two now <clears throat> Russian Tower of St. Petersburg. Are they aware about the pain they caused you and how do they feel about it? Are they aware about the pain they caused you? Are they aware? Well, here I'm getting also not. I think they understand the situation. It's more like husband and wife's uh, argument that happens on a daily basis. They see the situation that happened as uh, self-defense. I think they, it was like they see that they fought. Let's say if they were your husband, you were the wife or you know, something like that, you fought who is right, let's say who is right, who is, uh, who should do what, who is the leader, who is the follower, and um, they see whatever that, what they did as a defense, as a self-defense from you, let's say, maybe they think you wanted to control them, because, you know, two of clubs is often about domination. And Empress is looking at that domination. And Empress might be you, their wife or girlfriend or mother even. And uh, they didn't like that, feeling that someone's trying to dominate them. Maybe they are allergic to authority. Maybe they're allergic to people <clears throat> telling them what to do, even if they're right, of course. So there was something in them that uh, they thought, I don't want this, I don't, I don't want to listen, I don't want to take any of this, I'm right. So, and they fought. This card can talk about the physical fighting as well as um, emotional and some sort of verbal self-defense or rejection even. It can be like looking like they're protecting their own home, they're protecting their own woman, they're protecting their own wife or mother. Even that can be. So it can be many things. Why the fight was happening, what exactly it happened, and why it happened. But the Sempress can be definitely a a family woman, a female, and it can be a place that feels like home, social place, or <clears throat> place where the woman is, and cooks, basically, it can be like their native cave, or something like that. Okay, so, how do they feel about what happened? What do they feel about what happened? Similar card to this. Again, fighting. You know, they feel right. Look, Justice card. They justify every single thing that happened. They think they did the right thing. And this is that the, they had to do it. And uh, they already, from the beginning, you know, the thought that they have their opinion and you have your opinion, someone else has their opinion and you're just fighting for your own opinions, what you think, what you believe is right and they're not the person to give up, they're basically the person who fights till the end and they think they did the right thing here, this is what had to be done, yeah, this is what had to be done with just this card and uh, let's ask uh, will they understand what they did in the future? 
later will they ever understand what pain they caused you. Ten of Cups, I'm seeing them not thinking about this pain, not ever understanding, just living their happy life and everything. Or believing it so strongly that it was the right thing to do. And from their perspective, it might be that even that you are the one who caused pain, not them. Because they see themselves as a victim who are fighting against uh, some sort of outside annoyance. Okay, and uh, how will the karma mm, make them understand, let's say, about what they did? Maybe through their child, you know, maybe through the, their weak point, what they have, I think their family is everything to them, because we have the Empress, we have the Nine of Cups, and we have, you know, the Sun, they all can talk about family, and the family members, and the child... So for me, it seems that if they will ever be, uh, to be under, to understand what they did is through their own son or daughter. When they grow up, they'll do something like that, or some situation will be there. Maybe they will never understand what they did to you, but maybe they'll have a similar situation. They'll be at the receiving end, but the participants will be different. The people who uh, teach them the lesson will be different. There will be the people that they care about, their family members. Okay, so this was our reading number two. Let's move on to reading number three. Our reading number three, Prayer of the Light Tarot Deck. The question is, are they aware about the pain they caused you? How do they feel about it? Are they aware about the pain they caused you? Well, here <clears throat> I'm getting a little bit of thinking. Here we have a little bit of a depression. I think this person is feeling... Let's just ask one more card. Here I feel the there is a lover's regret. Lover's regret. Do you remember your face? They remember your love. They remember your nice words. And they remember how nice you were to them. And they remember you as a beautiful, beautiful person. Uh, beautiful but sad. You know, like, I'm getting, like, dark-haired. A little bit of, um, like, a character from some novel um a very like a suffering character someone very very cool like a really beautiful woman they remember you as a very beautiful attractive female uh, with some sort of romantic story attached to you some romantic feelings or thoughts or you know, like they tried to flirt, they tried to have a relationship, maybe they tried to love. Uh, and there's something that they think about a lot. Like maybe they acted depressed or apathic or didn't accept your feelings. But basically I'm seeing them seeing your face in their mind. It's, it's somewhere in their mind, like you're never left their mind. It's still there. And I'm getting that, um, I don't know if they understand what they did, but they definitely haven't forget every, anything. And the sadness of the situation, what happened, is somewhere in their heart. So let's see, how do they feel about that? How do they feel about that? Well, they feel like, oh, almost like oh, it was so much passion, I couldn't control it. 
I just like I was helpless, you know, <clears throat> and uh, it's not, it's like I don't know where it came from and just came over me and I was so in love, you know, I was so emotional and in love and it's, I don't know, it's just like a rape or almost like a rape. It was love and very strong love animal love they couldn't control anything they feel still strong intensive wanting and loving towards you like they can't control it almost like they didn't know what to do so I don't know what really happened here maybe they give you too much love but they remember your sad face, that you were sad about this situation. Uh, how will you feel in the future about what happened? Well, how will they wait for something? I don't know, they'll wait for you, maybe they'll expect you to come or they'll expect something. Basically, I think they'll be pretty calm and kind of waiting for something to happen, you know. That sort of situation, maybe a can we have the? I'm getting. Do you feel the same way? Basically, the same way. Like if they were um, jerk, they will be that jerk, and they'll be just thinking about themselves in the future. Do you? They know what they did, they know that you're not happy, and then they still choose to follow what they did. They still choose to be the same, the way they were. And how will karma, let's say, teach them this lesson? How will it, how will they understand this thing, what they did to you? Well, something will happen, <clears throat> something will happen that will be very bad. And uh, unexpected, some shock, some accident, some something like that. It can be very, it can be anything. It can be jail. It can be, it can be some explosion, fire. It can be losing the house, bankrupting. It can be divorce, separation. It can be what not. It can be, I don't know simply breakdown, emotional breakdown, or some just, it will be opened up for them very clearly, like, you know, like, suddenly, they will not expect, but some event from outside will just hit them, something will happen, what will happen? Maybe they lose their family, maybe they'll get ill, maybe they... <clears throat> uh, you know, separate with someone. Maybe they'll li they're, if they're married, maybe the wife will leave them or something. Other people uh, from outside, maybe the truth will come out. Something like that will happen. So I think many other people will actually, again, from the people that they love. The, the lessons will come from the people that they love and the groups that they surround themselves with. It will come from the inner circle. But it will be totally devastating and it will... It will be a turning point, I think, in their life. Maybe someone will tell them straight to their face something, what they did. Because for me, it seems like rape here. Um, let's have a look at our deck number four. Golden Universal Tarot by Scorpio. We have family car coming out. Maybe you're asking about a family member, a husband, or some sort of domestic situation, domestic violence, arguments, who knows, maybe some sort of financial, uh, 
financial situation also like a fraud or some what do you call it <sighs> conspiracy financial let's see are they aware about the pain they caused you are they aware about the pain they caused you very interesting cards major kind of cards uh, I think they might be aware here because I'm getting them having problems with mental health I'm getting them maybe taking medications for the I don't know anxiety or sleeplessness or something like that and attend uh, go meeting counselors or psychologists and things you know and like they are in listening to someone's advice all the time what to do next what to do next how to deal with this like they're looking for answers somewhere like they're looking for help let's see it can be many different things now I feel that there is a suffering with this hangman I feel this person has some sort of spiritual advice or some support uh, they're always looking for answers they always um, they can be a very like egocentric person at some you can see them as egocentric uh, and it can be that they maybe are some big person like a politician president or a boss in a company teacher but they always have some I don't know books to look for look at and advisors to ask advice for like something like that it's very hard to tell because it's a big scope of um, one person for some people maybe one person is taking medications at the hospital at the in psychiatric uh, hospital or psychologist something like that, with the head problems with the head overburn in the head um, and that burning sensation And I'm getting the medicines are causing that burning sensation. I don't know, drugs or, or something. Now, someone might be um, very stubborn and not wanting to listen to anybody, thinking they're the right one, they're like the God, and they like have the best ideas and receiving information, I don't know, from the spirit guides or, or somewhere from the god or something like that they might be the person who's in very high post that's another one but i think all of them are connected with information coming in and advice <clears throat> do i think they're aware of the pain Somehow I feel that yes, somehow I feel they're aware of the pain because they're doing something about it here. They're actively doing something about it. Looking for answers, looking for solutions, trying to solve the problem. How do they feel about that, what they did? I think the justified somehow I think we feel pretty good I think they feel is like they did a good thing they did a good thing like they wanted to help or that they gave something or they um, helped somehow they think that they helped here <clears throat> they don't think that they caused some problem will they aware be aware of it in the future I think this is person is like helping people or something. Feeling that they're charity, doing charity. In the future, this person will only gain more confidence. And they, again, we have something with mental problems. 
but also confidence. Maybe it's a very eccentric person, passionate person about what they do. That's why I'm getting this overburn, like burning sensation in the brain. I don't know what does it mean. It doesn't have to be, of course, pills and drugs and medicines, but it can be something either overactive brain or, you know, like they have so many ideas and are mentally very active. Maybe their brain works too much and is overheated. So that's why we're getting this card as well. In the future, they might feel even more confident, more passionate about what they do. And they will only want to force that pain onto you. I think they think it's good. I think they want to you to feel it. And that's their tactics, that's their strategy. <clears throat> Why are they doing that? Because they want to tell the truth. They want to fight evil, some sort of evil. They want. To, they believe in the blunt speech. They believe in basically that sort of style. What they're doing. What else? Well, it can be that this person thinks that is their strength and thinks is their coming from ins inside, like, um, I don't know, psychically or intuitively, and they think this is the right way. This is like what makes things, what brings them luck, what brings them success, and what is very good. So this person has clueless, it's clueless basically about this pain. They are aware, I think they're trying to work out what to do about it. But still they don't want to change the tactics, they maybe want to improve it. Or, and it's their job, I don't know. It's their job and it's their skill. Let's look at the karma. This can be anything, but let's look at the karma. So how will karma affect them in the future? Uh, what, how will it teach them? How will they feel what they did through karma? We have, um, we have the world. You know, I'm getting here fame. Fame is, they might become famous. They might uh, be in the center of a tent. And I'm getting it's either they'll be famous, either they'll be known, either they'll be put on the pedestal for everyone to see and and kind of judge at the same time. It can talk about internet, it can talk about world fame. Person will not know what to do with it, how to get away. But it'll bring them lots of money and lots of some sort of uh, respect of community, commun communal respect. Uh, crit critique from the masses can be media or something, but still there'll be uh, lots of support and like acceptance. <clears throat> Not getting it? But this is the reading number four. So what is very interesting that what seems to us as pain seems as help for other people, you know. We think the people cause us pain, but they think they helped. They think they gave something. So that's very puzzling. But apparently it's just a clash of perspectives in life. Um... Yeah, because if you look at two kids fighting, uh, she's not giving me that, I want this, you know, and he and he hits me, and this and that. So, if you listen to both of them, both have the point. Uh, yeah, he really hit her, and yeah, she really doesn't give it to him because it's too precious or whatever. So, I think it can be that we're just seeing what we want to see, I don't know. Um... Okay, it's up to you to make the conclusion. 
what these readings meant. Thank you for watching this video so much. I hope to see you next time. Please keep asking questions in the comments section below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.